few initial thoughts on the kind of program that you are doing in Dakshana Chitra. First, I'll tell you what the importance of the program as I see it. And secondly, uh, as to how Dakshana Chitra is apt for this kind of thing. First, I'm so happy this multi-spectral, multi-dimensional work is being done. I mean, I was part of it last year and I, I enjoyed what, what little I could see. So much of our performing arts are cocooned, are time warped uh, in what the, everybody believes or some people believe is tradition. Now, tradition is good. Without tradition, I do believe there is no performing art. But tradition is life. It's a living, breathing thing. Now, tradition does not mean that you're sort of tied to something in the past that has no relevance to today. Today, even the performing arts are moving forward. Theatre with which I am intrinsically look, uh, connected started to work with other forms like music and dance. It enhances the value of theatre. Now, there is no such thing as just pure theatre. There is. Of course, there is theatre, theatre. But today, I think the audiences also like to see when they have, when they see something visual or hear something, they hear, they'd like to see something associated. They would like to be educated on some something that is associated with the art that you are performing. Like uh, in music, like in dance. Dance is related to history. History is related to the past. It is related to the present. And there is some connection with the future. So is music. Music also develops. The, the kind of ragas that you sing or the kind of presentation you make for the audiences that grow. The audiences are also getting younger, they demand more. So without, I think, escaping from tradition, without uh, giving up tradition, tradition is very important in any performing art, or any classical performing art for that matter. I think we have to be open-minded enough to bring in other influences, hear and know about other things so that we enrich our own work. Now that's as far as this is concerned. Now what am I doing? Uh, uh, at this uh, at this um, uh, festival or, or this, uh, uh, this 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 thing happening at Dakshan Chitra, I basically deal with voice. Whatever it is I do, I am a professional voiceover person. All day I sit before a microphone and talk. Uh, I do documentaries and children's talking books and that kind of thing. And it's the voice that rules my life foremost. Also rules my work in theatre. Now. In music, I have also come from a tradition of music which I do not anymore practice, but that's a different story. I come from a tradition of music, vocal music, uh, which has to do with voice. It dismays me today how much of vocal music disdains voice. Voice, at least in a lot of Carnatic music, takes secondary place so that the brigas and the swaras and everything take precedence. The voice, in my opinion, is not given enough importance. I do not wish to compare. The average Hindustani singer spends more time with his voice than the average Carnatic singer. Basically also perhaps because Carnatic music is lyric driven and you want to get to the lyric fast. It's swara laden. So there is probably much more of intricate variety in Carnatic music. In this process, I think people tend to uh, forget the importance of voice. Now, I do know that there are cross-cultural influences on voice, which I could talk about briefly on that day, like harmonies, like syncopation, like group singing, like du duets. Now, you may or may not use it on a classical music platform, but I think when you practice, when you learn, if you have all this in mind, as part of voice culture and that which enhances what is a chord, for instance. You're, you're talk, in Carnatic music, you're talking about Sarigama Padani. But when you're talking about harmonies and choralization of music, we're talking about chords like Sagapa and Rimada. And when three people come together and say Sagapa, there is a certain uh, um, aura created, which is important for the development of voice. You may or may not use it on the platform. I hope to bring in my brief presentation, something about how voice has been harmonized in the Carnatic music firmament. I do hope people will find it interesting. Now about Dakshin Chitra, well, it's a place for culture and art. It's beautiful, it's removed, it's quiet. Uh, people like to go there. So I hope uh, uh, to meet you there and I hope you have a good time as much as I do.